Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Bomani Tamba, your uh, tour organizer and tour leader of your Ghana Journey of a Lifetime for November 2018 and May 2019. Today is uh, Sunday, September 16th, and uh, we're here to go through a full duration of our conference uh, called Information that we have. And just to give you a quick uh, overview of what we're going to go over, we did email a topic list, uh, but I have a defined list of things I'm going to go through as much as possible. Visa, uh, Delta and KLM login, uh, flight itineraries, tour package uh, inclusion, itinerary, general terms, departure reminder list, and then open up for questions and answer. But we will do questions and answer in between. All right. So this conference call is to communicate with uh, everyone that's interested in our Ghana tours, uh, to share information about all the need to know before you go, and to get everyone connected with each other. Right into the visa. Uh, everyone uh, has been sent a Ghana visa requirements application and process uh, and visa email. And anyone who have not received that email, you can always send me an email, and I will uh, send the uh, email to you. Now, this Ghana visa, it gives you the whole process and information. And the only thing that it won't have is your flight itinerary. So I sent everyone that's traveling with us uh, flight itineraries. I still have a few people for May of uh, 2019. And everyone that's traveling with us that's uh, locked into the journey for November 2018, you have access to your login to where you can access and print your flight uh, you know, flight itinerary. But in general, a flight itinerary is also sent to you. And that's the only thing that's not in this uh, email. So everyone is required to have a visa to travel to Ghana. Start single entry Ghana visa process two and a half months uh, before departure. So right now we're two months before we leave for Ghana. So you, you can start the uh, single process if you want. Uh, start multiple entry visa process anytime. Uh, and I usually, so for if you're traveling with us uh, next year, the earliest you really want to start the multiple entry visa process is the beginning of the year. And then if you're going for the single entry, you have to do it about the two, two and a half month time frame because the single entry is only good for three months. So. Most of entry is uh, not mandatory for any of these tours, but we do recommend it because it gives you a longer duration. I've gotten three Ghana visa. The first visa was uh, five years, uh, and the second one was five years, and the third one was uh, three years, and that's all most of entry. So attach our uh, four documents, uh, image of the Ghana visa stamp, uh, where once you receive your passport back, that's the only thing you're going to get is just your passport back. The visa stamp will be inside the passport. Right? Then attached also is a Ghana visa application. Now when you fill out this application, you have to fill it out, uh, fill it out, sign and date it, and then make a copy of it. So that, and it has to be submitted in duplicates. All right. Requirements obtain uh, Ghana visa. So that's all the you know the details that uh, we're going to go to. But that's also in the body of the email as a summary version. And then Bomani sample Ghana visa application. And then with this visa application, you can just use a lot of the same information and just edit out your details. If you can use Adobe Acrobat, you can and you can successfully edit mine. That's fine. Um, but if you can't, you can just uh, type it up fresh on the, f on the new application. So those are the in-detail information for the Ghana visa pr process. And one of the most important things that everyone has to look at uh, before you even uh, process, even thinking about going on the uh, tour to Ghana. So further down in email, uh, what I have is a, is a quick check sheet uh, for your visa package. Right? So you need the... Uh, Two applications signed, and I'll talk about use my sample visa application as an example. Staple two passport style photos on the top right of the application. Three uh, money order payable to the embassy of Ghana, sixty dollars for single entry, hundred dollars for money, multiple entry. Okay? It's a list of seven things. Four uh, flight uh, itinerary with your full name as it shows on your passport, or just your first and last name. 
right? bank statement or letter from the bank to verify your name and address for proof of residency. Uh, six, uh, prepaid return envelope with tracking or certified return. So you want to make sure you check your package as you send it out with a, and then check it on the return uh, by just uh, using the tracking number that you get on your receipt and you know going online and typing that in the United States uh, Postal Service or whether you use FedEx or UPS uh, is the same you know, same uh, situation. Uh, seven and the most important thing is make sure you put your passport in the package. So you have to put your passport in the package in order to get your Ghana visa. And that is just a good uh, overview of the process. I'm going to pull up the sample uh, visa application. I have all of the fields uh, filled out, so make sure you put something in every, you know, in every box, even if it's uh, none. And this visa is a two-part visa, so, you, so what you have to do is just scroll down and you see the second page. And the most important thing, you, you want to make sure you check um, multiple single entry and put the relative amount in there. And I'm looking at mine, everything is still that. So uh, we've been talking about the visa the last uh, a few conference calls, so I don't want to go too much into it. But uh, those are the details uh, from the uh, email. Just make sure you print everything out and take your time go through it. And uh, write down questions, and you can just always call me or send me an email, and I'll go through it with you. All right, so the next thing I want to do is go into the login access for your Delta and KLM login. So for everyone that's traveling with us uh, that's on the tour, it's 28 of us uh, right now. We can um, accommodate up to about 40 people, so we still have space. So what we're going to do is uh, you're going to go to the email sent, and the email sent has a KLM and a Delta login. If you only have a KLM login, that means you have one of those routes that go from like uh, uh, Chicago to Amsterdam, and that route is just on KLM Airlines itself, and there's no Delta aircraft uh, attached to that itinerary. So the only, only thing you have to log on to is KLM.com. But now let's go directly to the Delta logon. So once you, uh, once you go to delta.com, what you do is go up to, you know, go up to My Trips. And once you click My Trips, you're going to use, just uh, copy and paste your Delta, your flight uh, confirmation number. Put your first and uh, last name. Are perfect. And uh, once it uh, loads, now the best thing to do is just look, look at everything from top to bottom. So um, I'm leaving from Atlanta, so mine's going to say ATL to ACC, and every one situation differ. Uh, all of us have a common connection in Amsterdam. So this is Friday, the 16th of November, 2018, and confirmation on the top right. Now you have an uh, option at the very top right to print, uh, save as a PDF, email to yourself, and and. And so email to yourself so you just have a, a printed copy. And this is also what you need if you're, you haven't done your visa yet. You want to use this uh, flat itinerary. Now scrolling down my route is uh, Atlanta to Amsterdam. And that's on Delta DL74. Now we're going to depart at 8.08 p.m. and arrive at 10.45 a.m. Saturday, November 17th in the morning. All right, and you look across to the uh, right, you can select your seats uh, for those who haven't selected their seats yet. And uh, once we're in Amsterdam, some of us are going to have longer layover than others. So what you're looking at, the next leg you'll see Amsterdam uh, to Accra. Some of us may have up to uh, six uh, flights altogether, three going and three coming back. So if you're not, if you don't live by a major hub like Atlanta, Detroit, uh, New York, JFK, Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, LAX, uh, Seattle, and so on, you're going to have those uh, double connections, unfortunately. November 17th, Amsterdam to Accra. So the flight it departs at 2.25 p.m. Two hours before then at 12.30 we're going to be meeting everyone. Everyone's flight should have arrived by then, and we'll just look to connect everyone and do a quick uh, meet and greet. 
And so depart at 2.25 p.m. and arrive at 7.55 p.m. there in Ghana. All right, now when you look to the right uh, and you do select seats, uh, you won't be able to select on select seats on this login for because uh, this, this is a KLM aircraft. So you're going to have to use the, go to KLM.com and you'll be able to ch uh, you'll be able to change seats and do segments on um, their logon because it's uh, their aircraft. And also on the return, it's going to be on Air France, but KLM website would accommodate you to do the seat changes and add meals also if you can't do it on your Delta logon. So those are some of the things that uh, we talk about in the email. So when you get the email, make sure you just read through all of the email uh, uh, details and then go to the bottom and see a confirmation number. And scrolling down, this is um, on the return. Um, we're going to be leaving uh, Monday the 26th, uh, November 2018, and it's from Accra to CDG, which is Charles de Gaulle, Paris, uh, France, and that's on Air France. So the flight departs at 10.35 p.m. and arrives 6.10 a.m. Tuesday, November 27th. And once again, if you're on the Delta logon, you wouldn't be able to change uh, your seats. Uh, so when you log on to KLM, which you'll do in a few, you'll be able to make that change. Now the last uh, segments of, um, for those of us who are traveling to Atlanta, our flight will go from uh, Charles de Gaulle, Paris, France, to Atlanta, and it departs at 9.10 a.m. and arrives the same day at 12.44 uh, p.m. All right, and I look over to the right and I'm able to have seats uh, selected. All right, and before we go into the KLM login, uh, I'm going to scroll down. And what you want to do is uh, verify your name is spelled uh, correctly. Everything looks good. If you uh, don't have Sky Miles, you can uh, you know, go to the Sky Mile portion right above your screen. You'll see Sky Miles. You can register for a SkyMiles account, and this is a point system of, of um, how you get uh, credit for your flight. And it's a lot of flying, so if you use that and try to purchase a flight in the future, usually you're gonna it's probably cost about uh, about half the price. Uh, so um, you know, give or take. So that's uh, you know one of the reasons to, uh, you know, for everyone to uh, create a SkyMiles account, uh, and that's all up to you know the individuals. So mine is showing. I have a, um, I have a silver medallion, uh, elite uh, sky mile uh, priority. So it does give you priority seating after business slash uh, first class. I'm looking down. I see all of my uh, uh, segments: uh, Atlanta to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Accra, Accra to Charles de Gaulle, uh, Paris, and from Paris to Atlanta. And all and my seats look good. And then once you scroll further down, you'll see special meals. You have peanut allergies, wheelchair, blind, low vision, deaf, or hand appearing. And these are what you call special services. So on the, uh, the special service request, uh, whatever you choose, just click on it, open, and then follow directions, uh, add meals based on what your different diet is. If you're looking for something beyond just a standard diet or what uh, may be served. So that's your full Delta login. and we're going to go right to our KLM.com. All right, so once I go to KLM.com, I'll look for the same thing, my trips, and then I'm going to log in with my booking code, which uh, in their language is the same thing as your confirmation number. So once you put that in and put in the first, uh, first name or last name based on what it's requesting, then you get access to your booking. And um, you know, once you scroll down, uh, you'll see where it says select seats, and that's where you'll be able to select seats. And one of the things I want to explain, uh, it's strange, but once you click uh, select uh, seats, you're going to have different priorities of priority seats that you can choose as upgrade. Uh, unfortunately, some of us, it may show economy and then it may show price that you have to pay. In that case, you can either choose to pay for it and, and, still, and choose your seats ahead of time, or you can just wait uh, towards the very uh, you know, end when you get to the airport, uh, seats will be assigned to you by the booking agent. Uh, once you um, you know once you check in, so either or is fine. But uh, and some of us uh, it would say economy free, and then we're able to go ahead and and select our seats. Had uh, that situation happen one, I was able to do that on a few of um, my direct uh, staff group, and then one person 
had you know we had to pay for party we had to pay for seat in the under economy so it's strange but uh that's um their policy um it's just in some cases it's random but before it used to be all case where you'd have to pay a, you know pay a cost to get a seat ahead of time and that's not strange um i have domestic tickets here here in the states and you know same thing when we get to the airport you know we have to get our seats so uh that's um the both delta and kalen login uh so everyone just please make sure everything is clear on your book and make sure any question you have or any issues just reply or communicate as soon as possible it's set for us to do the final payment uh, as far as the balance on all of those tickets that's listed um we're going to do it around october 1st so once we do it october 1st you have a final confirmation that everything is finalized and your booking is clear so this is the process we go through to make sure that you get uh, you know everyone get the seats that they want and everything is clear everything looks good in the system that way we don't have any problems and we just have a smooth um booking set up so everyone that is our flight arrangements uh, there what i want to do is uh, open up uh, for questions and once again uh family it's star 6 to unmute yourself. Jilla Oconco in Indianapolis. Well, I unfortunately kind of uh, got on board rather late, my fact less than what a week or two ago, and I got confused as far as what the trips were going to be. I thought she was going to South Africa, but it's Ghana. And I don't see that I may have even time to get the passport. I mean, the visa right now, you see it takes two and a half months. And this is like going into the end of uh um, middle of September here. So, uh, do I still have time to even get a visa? Yes, so the visa takes uh 7 days. And you can get a 7 days. Yes, and you can also go to Washington DC, drop it off one day and pick it up the next day. Now I'm not that close to Washington so I can't go to Washington. Give me okay. Out. And then you can also get a rush passport and get a passport back within 3 to 4 weeks. So if you can get all the So you're telling me to to do a rush passport? Yes, and I'm also saying if you can go do all of those things and you know, we can you know, if you can do all those things and get it done ahead of time, we can mm-hmm. add you to the tour. All right, all right. Now also um when is the the final day for the deposit? I haven't even done that. Yeah, once you get all your stuff together, we can you can make a deposit and we can get you on a tour. Uh we are, our tour is already set. We have tickets, we have reservations, we have arrangements. What we do is just adding people on that can make the tour by getting the things that they need organized. And so I'm fine with working that out with you offline off this uh, conference call. Work on what you have to work on and you need to communicate with you about anything just uh, call me directly and I got your back. And also um you mentioned that uh the deposit is non-refundable. Yes, it's non-refundable. So what I can do is I can transfer you to another tour. We have another tour in May. Okay, so if I just start the process, most likely things will happen. Yeah, so once we transfer right. you, you don't need to deposit the transfer. You know, once you get this close to the journey, it's you know it's hard to hold the positive and things like that it's like we're paying for the tour we're paying final payments um and and so on so nevertheless um you know you and I can talk about that in detail let me know if you have any other uh, question related to uh, the flight itineraries and the flight schedule of what we just talked about mhm okay okay so i can get back with you later on that all right all right uh, anyone have any um questions in reference to our login delta and kalen booking especially those who are traveling with us there to Ghana in November Yeah, Pumani, what's up man? Sidney Novi, how you doing? Hey, yeah, uh, greetings brother. I'm doing all right about so. I'm okay. Um when I mailed in my passport for the visa, I used the um that initial itinerary that you had sent it wasn't as detailed it was just kind of a, a print out of um the connections and what have you um I'm just wondering will that be okay Yes that's okay that's that's exactly what I gave it to you I gave it to you to apply for your visa uh this itinerary okay. is, uh, itinerary of your, your your direct e-ticket booking so I I don't want people to have to wait for that one 
when it's time to do the visa because sometimes it's not ready until like a month before we leave so that just gives you a, a confirmation saying that I've made reservations and this is the schedule and routings I made and you can also use that for your visa but yeah you're definitely safe and you're fine okay good good that's all I wanted to know um, approximately how long does it take them to process it it's uh, seven days and the longest of maybe uh, seven to ten days okay okay uh, that's all I wanted thanks all right perfect so I guess you have your tracking number and everything right yes all right cool perfect Absolutely, brother. I'm looking forward to connecting with you uh, in two months. Okay. No doubt. All right, everyone, the line is open in reference to our Delta slash KLM flight booking. All right, uh, Jonathan. Uh, greetings, family. Greetings, family. How's everyone doing? Jonathan Hill and uh, Sean Brown will be our tour assistant, so... Sean may not be on the line because he's uh, probably tied up at work. But uh, when we go right. to Ghana, you, you'll definitely uh, meet them, and they'll be working the tour with myself as assistant. So they'll be, you know, learning how to do certain things and connecting, and you know, in general, helping our uh, tour energy. So that's one Jonathan right. just to give a good uh, introduction about himself, and then uh, we're gonna move on to uh, the rest of our tour list. Uh, great. Um. Again, uh, greetings, family. Uh, I'm your brother, Jonathan Hill. Um, I'm coming here out of Tallahassee, Florida. I've recently um, graduated from uh, Florida State, um, and I'm just working as a transportation planner. Um, I have three children and a wife, and I'm coming on the tour uh, of a lifetime with Bamani. I've been following him for about three years now, and um, this is definitely something that is is key to my heart and dear to me um in in terms of the pan african energy um that the brothers got flowing uh, going between here and Ghana and um I look at it as really beneficial to our people but yes this will be my first trip and I'm excited to go and uh spend time with all of you and um meeting our sisters and brothers there in Ghana um I just want to assure everybody um in regards to the the first sister that was speaking that the visa process is is actually is pretty simple. You know, you fill out all the information you need to and make sure that you, I would suggest that you get the multiple uh, visa entry, and that's a, that's $100. But if you want to do the single entry, that's $60. Yeah. And it's, it's, it is rather simple. It is a, a quick turnaround, and um, you'll have that good to go. Um, yeah. As far as the checking in information on Delta or KLM, uh, um, it should be rather simple. Just follow the instructions in the email where you, you click on the My Trips on the Delta, and uh, you should see all of your information there. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I see my Sky Miles Bomani is actually here. So you should, you'll see all of your passenger information and have an opportunity to, to select your seat. But, um, yeah, family, I'm, I'm really... Um, excited is is going to be something new and um you know we could just expect the best from from this trip um from this tour with Bamani and Africa for the Africans and uh you know safety security is paramount and um professionalism is key All right, perfect uh, thank you uh, Jonathan and um thank you uh, Jonathan and um you just uh, mentioned yeah. about the visa what we have set up is to make sure that uh, we have information emailed to you in detail and then available to explain everything in detail. So, Jonathan, how was your Delta slash KLM logon access to yep. navigating through it and looking at everything? How did you find everything? It's good. I'm looking at it right now, everybody. Um, I'm looking at the KLM and the Delta has the, the flight information um, with, under the Arrange Now tab on KLM. And you go to trip details, you could actually see uh, the terminal. We're leaving out of uh, Terminal I at uh, 8.08 p.m. that Friday. Uh, and then we're arriving in uh, AMS, Netherlands, Amsterdam at 10.45. So it shows the travel time, about eight hours, which is it's pretty normal. Um, 
usually, uh, like uh, another part of my background is um, I would work for the airlines for for a year, and uh, we would always notice when we go uh, across the pond, as we would say, that we wouldn't be as tired as we would when we came back. Um, for some odd reason, you get really tired um, coming back, but um, the eight-hour flight, you know, you'll be reasonably tired, but definitely coming back, you're going to be more. But you'll look at it, all the information on the trip details, so is your baggage, uh, your meal, and then you go down, you see the Amsterdam to Accra leg, um, six hours and 30 minutes. That's that's for KLM. Under the Delta, same thing. Under my trips, uh, like Bomani just said, it shows all of the same thing, the meal services, the departure time, and then the seating arrangements. Uh, perfect, Jonathan. And then yeah. 24 hours before we leave, everyone can log in and check in and uh, print out their boarding pass. And then once you get to the airport, uh, you just uh, basically um, go to the, uh, the sign for you to drop your bags. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a nice, updated 21st century booking system to make sure. You know, so uh, my goal is to make oh. sure we clear all of the sites. Just will. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, but Monty, yeah, I just want to be also be clear too. Uh, if anybody had any specific questions uh, and didn't know where to go about the visa information, uh, you just simply go back to our site, the Africa for the Africans tour site. Click, click under the Ghana tour for November 2018, and then under that is pretty comprehensive. It shows all the information. You have the overview tab, the general terms tab, an itinerary tab, and then there's one with the visa guidelines. You click on the visa guidelines, and it shows you everything you need, um, you know, and itinerary. So if you have any, any questions, I know, I'm pretty sure Bomani, he sent it in the email, but that's definitely uh, where I would go to get all the information uh, that we need. And Jonathan, uh, thanks. Uh, uh, the reason I want everyone to use the email, the email have all of the attachments, things that you can't put on the website. Our website is, you know, is the details will be fine, but... Uh, I want everyone to actually just make sure they have the email and print everything out uh, right. right there from the actual email. Uh, so, family, that was that's uh, we've talked about visa for the last few months. We want to move forward from visa, and then we're we're done with the flight schedule and everything, and that will all be finalized, and everyone will get their final confirmation at the end of the month, beginning of the month. So, what I want to do is uh, open up for final questions. If anyone have any questions about the visa and the flight schedule, that we just talk about before we move forward. Right. Yes, I do. Beulah out of Indiana again. Uh, go ahead. I hopefully I took. Yes, yeah, hopefully I took my notes correctly. It says that you need a copy of your passport to be mailed with the visa application. Is that like a copy of the passport, of the actual passport? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say about anything about a copy of a passport. You have to put your actual passport in the package. Oh, right. and you yeah, need two not. passport pictures. Uh, yes, uh, that's correct. Two passport style photos. You staple to the right. top right of each application. Right, right, right. So that will be returned. Everything will be returned with the visa. Yes, the passport will be returned with a visa stamp. Okay. I just want to clear that up. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anyone else have a question before we move to our uh, next segment? All right. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do is go directly to our website, Africa for the Africans .org. And um, once again, family, 100% of our tour details for November 2018 uh, to Ghana and uh, May. 2019 is right here on our website, www.africaforthafricans.org. And also you'll see uh, the South Africa, Zambia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe tour November 2019 details. So anyone that's interested in our tour de details, I'll ask them to just click on the relative tour link that you're interested in. And right now we're going to click on Ghana tour November 16 to the 26th, uh, 2018. And uh, this is what Jonathan was talking about. Uh, it it gives you a full overview, uh, general terms, itinerary, visa guidelines, uh, 
preparation, what's a pack, uh, culture, customs, uh, language uh, tree, translation, improving your immune system, and departure and reminder list for your journey. So those are the things that we've gone over the period of time during a conference call. So you know, I always uh, recommend everyone take their time and open each uh, details in this uh, look to it so they are clear on dates, clear on the package. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, click on Ghana Tour Overview, and we're just going to go over those uh, quick details, and we'll go into the, uh, the general terms and the itinerary. All right, so what it's going to do is uh, it's going to give you two package price. Um, the package price uh, $2,950, that's for our November 16th to the 26th tour, and that includes your flight from um, mainland U.S., uh, which um, we connect you from your, the closest airport we can uh, get you connected to. And package number two, if you're in Ghana or if you already have a ticket, um, you can pay for the land package at 2200 So those are the defined price details. The next thing we have is a single supplement of $400. Now $400 does give you a single supplement for the nine, uh, nine full days that uh, we're there in Ghana. Uh, I did send out an email for a single supplement for $300, and that was for six days, which is at the Miklin in Accra and Kumasi, where they have lots of single room. I want Africa, there is no single room, so we have another hotel for those who want a single room. So that is the, uh, the difference. So anyone who wants a single room for the entire time, understand that when we get to Cape Coast, Elmina, I have to put you at Almond Tree. Uh, and also right now, there's no more space in One Africa, so anyone else that comes on, we have to you know, naturally put you at Almond Tree. So naturally, those are the, you know, those are the financial uh, breakdown. But the tour includes uh, transportation and tours through our Ghana based on the full itinerary, daily exercise and meditation session, daily continental breakfast and gourmet dinner, and two- and three-star hotel accommodation, which is the Miklin in Accra and Kumasi. And note, uh, it's two people in a room, uh, twin bed based on age. So unless you pay for a single supplement, you're in a room with someone else. And you know, that's how we are match it up uh, as much demographically as we can to connect people. Now, business and investment conference, uh, conference or repatriation uh, conference, and it's going to be a nice uh, session where for those who are interested in just get there early, and meet, meet a lot of people, and take a lot of notes, and also all the videos for, for the repatriation investment conference and uh, land videos are right there on the YouTube page, which we'll talk about later. And then uh, in general, uh, tour includes us all entrance and access to all sites and activities. And then we just, so the only thing that's not included is the $50 group tips, uh, lunch, and also you know, visa, and um, whatever you decide to do at night life. All right, so let's uh, go into uh, the general terms is uh, real quick, and then I get into that itinerary, which connects the uh, tour overview. All right, so um, the general terms is uh, it gives you a breakdown of uh, deposits and payment schedule. And this, anyone that's looking to come on the tour, you now we just have to talk and we'll set up um, you know, agreeable deposits and and adjustment of uh, schedule. If anyone is still interested. But uh, that's what the uh, general terms does. It uh, talks about um, deposit, late reservations, final payments, uh, travel documents, methods of payments, uh, other payment options, uh, cancellation uh, fee, uh, disabled tour participant, meal and beverages, uh, paid in full receipt, immigration requirements. And uh, there's no refund whatsoever for failure to obtain proper admission documentary for any country, including this tour. So we want to make sure that everyone, if you have an issue with getting your documents or things for Ghana, let us know right away. That way we can salvage as much of your money as possible because we are paying for a tour in full, which will be paid for a month before we leave. That way we can focus on getting ourselves ready and organized. You know, general terms is just covering what we, you know, you know, what needs to be covered in, in all parties that's involved. It talks about the health requirements. Uh, gratuities is part of the uh, $50 group tips, which we'll collect 
in Atlanta or uh, Amsterdam or in Ghana based on you know based on our, you know the movements of doing that and meeting with people. I already also talk about documentation. Let everyone know that everything that we record, we document and primarily share mainly on YouTube for marketing uh, purpose and sharing it with our brothers and sisters in general. And tour information, 100% of it is on this website, Africa for the Africans .org. Uh, goes into uh, the responsibilities of us, our staff, and the people that uh, we have aligned with business. And the uh, next thing I've, I'm going to uh, read through it as brief as possible. And this is this, you know, no disrespect for anyone. Uh, well, what I'm doing is just we're just setting a stance for this, us taking things to a higher professional level. And so people who work with us and people who are tour members, we just actually want to to give their best and follow the flow of the schedule, the itinerary, the rules of how business is done, the transportation operation from the airlines to tour bus, uh, flow with the schedule and the, uh, you know, follow rules and this. If you have issues or questions or something you want to talk about, myself, my tour assistant, and you know, will be available to you know, communicate with you. So let me uh, go to uh, some of this information. So this is at the very bottom of the, uh, the actual general terms. All right, so I say uh, thanks for your interest in our Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour. Please read 100% of the Ghana Tour November 2018 documentation, which can be found on our website. Now, welcome to Ghana Journey of a Lifetime. Our Ghana Tours are dedicated to the black African family of all ages around the world from pregnant ladies to newborns to elders. Uh, this tour operation works 100% the same as a cruise ship, transportation companies like Greyhound, and airlines like Delta KLM. Everyone has to be responsible for the clarity of the tour schedule and our repatriation and investment mission in Ghana. We will do our best to look out for people during departure time, but it's up to you to be on schedule. If we have to leave you and you're not on board, it's up to you to call us to get a taxi to catch up to us or get back to the hotel and wait for our return. If we have to leave you because you are late, we will not accept you being disrespectful to our staff. We need everyone to respect our program and the owner organizable money. We are here to provide the service you paid for, which is a journey of a lifetime. This is the best trip or tour you'll take in your lifetime. This is what we work towards when we commit on this uh, Ghana journey. Everyone has to be accountable for their commitment to the tour. Please remember we are moving with 20 to 40 people around a big country. We definitely need everyone, cooperation to make this work as efficient as possible. All right, and the last uh, paragraph, uh, uh, we can't compromise our mission for people who want to stay in expensive white-owned hotel. This is a 100% black Ghana tour operation, with exception of the airlines. We must keep it real and strong if we are to build black enterprises. The Mickland Hotel in Accra and Kumasi are better than any four- and five-star hotel in Ghana. These tours are not for high-class rich people or people who are disruptive with elite attitudes. We're all sharing a common experience to reconnect to the land of our ancestors. It does not matter if you're a general in the military or a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. You and all of us are tour members and our customers. That is your rank and status. Our staff and crew are here to make sure you are safe and have the journey for a lifetime. Please respect our rules and policies which are in place for your own safety. You can always talk to tour captain, staff tour leader, Bomani, or any of our tour assistants about anything, especially if you need something taken care of during the tour. The tour guide, driver, and the assistant all work for us to make up our Ghana crew. They're not in charge or the decision makers of this tour, so please come to us for anything. Let's focus on being prepared and clear by joining or listening to all of the conference calls. This will make the journey so much smoother because we go through all of the details with full clarity on these calls. By going with the flow 
and following our lead is how we guarantee that you have the Ghana journey of a lifetime and it will work out to be your best journey ever. We thank you for your business and contributing to building black enterprises. All right, so family, uh, that is just a uh, detail ad, and just, um, it's just what uh, just want to be just upfront and clear with uh, just based on just traveling to Ghana last 14 times to Ghana in the last uh, 12 years, and this being the uh, the 15th uh, journey, which will be over 350 different people we have uh, connected with. And uh, so, based on all of the things, and you know, from the beginning to now, and just looking to elevate, just want to be clear. Because the last journey and other journeys we have had, it's just always one or two little minor issues that you just don't want to be, you know, to disrupt everybody else. But it's one of those things where you know, everyone pays their money and they, everyone is ready to enjoy their journey. And the worst thing is just one or two people disrupt that and, you know, and throws that off for other people. So this actually may want us to be respectful of everyone and let's enjoy this journey, connect, do business, and do all the wonderful things that uh, we all aspire to do there in Ghana. All right, uh, so what I want to do is, uh, Jonathan, uh, uh, I got you uh, unmuted. So that was uh, what I have on the general terms, and we're going to go through some of the rest of the tour details. But I just want to know if you had anything gotcha. to add or if you missed anything as we begin to just make sure that everyone is clear on everything and how we flow in business. Right. Uh, for everybody, the, uh, that last page there, the general terms, under that, that last two paragraphs is really uh, the mission of the Africa for the African's journey of a lifetime. So that's where you're going to the understanding of where we're coming from. Um, and within that, you'll find the documentation, uh, responsibilities, and uh, the refund policies on that page. And then, like, like we said before, the other pages have the other information on it, such as the itinerary, the tour preparation, and then the other page is uh, improving your overall immunity. All right, cool, uh, Jonathan. Uh, thank you. Um, let's move from this uh, point, go into the uh, itinerary of the tour. So I'm going to scroll back up, and I'm going to click on Ghana Tour November 2018, and it's going to reload to all of the uh, tour details, and I'm going to click on Ghana Tour itinerary. Once you look at the itinerary, what you're going to see is uh, day one, Friday, November 16th, depart Atlanta to Accra via Amsterdam. So it's just all in reference to if you live in Atlanta, but everyone is connected to Amsterdam, and we have uh, people that's meeting us in Amsterdam from different countries. So everyone, the flight departs at 8.08, so what we, uh, we uh, generally do is meet uh, two hours before the uh, flight departure time. So it's said for m most flights to connect to where everyone will get to the gate you know, about uh, 6 o'clock. And then, you know, we just connect, introduce each other, and do our best to just connect. But once we get to Amsterdam, we'll, you know, do a, we'll have a little more time to introduce everyone. But we'll do our best uh, that time around. Uh, flight leave on DL-74 to Amsterdam, Netherlands, and arrive next day, November 17th. So we move to uh, the next day. Uh, day number two, Saturday, November 17th, Amsterdam. Welcome to Accra. So meet and greet is at 12.30 at the, uh, the, the KLM Ghana departure gate at Amsterdam airport. And flight departs at 2.25 p.m. on KLM flight uh, 589. And uh, so we're going to meet right there in Accra at 7.55. And the times change a little bit on the actual flight, uh, you log in, but that's a, you know, whenever you log in, see that's the accurate time and everything. All updates and things will show. So do our best to make sure that, um, you know, when we do have the final itinerary and all those things, all these, the final times and everything, we definitely be locked in. Uh, so the, the main thing is uh, once we get there to uh, Ghana, uh, we're going to meet our tour guide from Sunseekers Tours. And we're going to have a tour bus down here along with the Micklin vehicle. And we're going to form you know, a path to where we're all going to have our own carts and have our bags on there. And we're going to push it towards the bus. And everyone just needs to follow the line. So it's going to be a series of things. And we'll definitely talk about them you know, once we get closer. But um, you know, once you fly into Ghana, we'll go through passport control and you know, we'll help everybody get all their bags together, make sure everybody has their bags and make sure everything is organized, you know, make our way down. And, one, you know, once we uh, 
get on the bus and we're organized. It's a short ride to the Mickelin Hotel. And once we get to the Mickelin Hotel, we'll try to do everything ahead of time by making sure rooms are set up and get uh, a certain type of rooms and everything that's all organized for everyone. So we're just literally working on the, uh, the spreadsheet for room assignments, uh, single rooms, and things like that. So once we get to the Mickelin, um, we have a crew of people there that's going to help you get your backs to your room so you can just relax and get ready for the morning. For those who have some energy and they want to go out and socialize, uh, some of us are going to go out for a you know, short time. Um, the good thing about um, where the Mickelin is at, the neighborhood is called Isogon, and it's just a nice, vibrant neighborhood. So we'll find something social to do for the people who are open. And what we usually tell everyone, if you want to socialize or go out to nightlife with us, just be around the lobby. And that's usually probably about 10 o'clock at night. Then maybe we'll stop and come back at 12. And it's not a partying, partying situation. It's just night socializing. So when we're there, we'll talk about the time. And, you know, we'll just give a nice sort of game plan for those who are interested. And for those who are not open, I just recommend us now enjoy your, your time at the hotel and get some rest. And we'll catch you in the morning. And now the schedule um, is going to just effectively start like uh, day three, Sunday, November 18th, and that's when we go up to the mountains. So what we're going to start off uh, the energy with in the morning is a wake-up call where we literally just do a one-time only wake-up call to get everybody up, uh, which would be at, at 6 o'clock. If you're open to morning exercise, at 6.15 to 7 o'clock. And then breakfast is 7 o'clock. Um, you know, till about uh, 8.30. And 8 o'clock is when you need to get yourself organized and be around the bus area. 8.15, we'll just check to make sure everybody's ready, and then 8.30, we'll pull out. So that's the sequence of how we're just looking to do it to make sure we just move smooth on schedule. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to run around trying to find people, so just do your best to be around an area where we can just reach out to inside, we're ready to leave or beat the horn. So the, but the uh, first day, we're going up to um, Tutu Mountains, and we're going to stop by Trinity Foundation. So for those who are bringing financial donation or uh, school supplies, you can split them in two because uh, this is one, and then the other one we're going to go to is Elmina, uh, right by uh, Mama Imacus. And so once we, uh, once we head up to the mountains, a 45-minute uh, to one-hour drive, and we'll pass by uh, up to Tutu Mountains, but before then, we'll stop by our Rita Malia studio and the foundation to take pictures outside. Then we're going to drive up the mountains um, from Avery to Tutu, and we're going to visit the Trinity Home Foundation, a school in Tutu to donate school supplies. Then we're going to head back down and stop by the Avery wood carving village, and then we're going to take a walk to the Botanic Gardens, and then we're going to uh, finish up the day by going through the University of Ghana, uh, campus tour. At uh, 7 p.m., we're going to enjoy a nice dinner and nightlife out in East Lagoon, right there at the Jamrock restaurant. It's a Jamaican Ghanaian restaurant, and it's just right there in, you know, out there in East Lagoon, and it's just a nice night. We just usually recommend everybody just get dressed up and we just go out and enjoy a nice night out together to eat. All right, uh, day four, same thing. Um, if you're interested in morning exercise, uh, just um, connect with those of us who are leading morning exercise. And other than that, um, breakfast is ready at 7. And 8 o'clock, uh, when it wants to be organized. Now, we're doing an Accra City tour, so it, we definitely have to really just leave at 8.30. That way we can just make, make sure we do our best to get back by 4.30. Now, and the Accra City tour is, is a combination of many wonderful things. Our Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park the Culture Center, Independence Square, George Padmore Library, and the W.E.B. Du Bois Center. Now, um, the schedule is going to be a little fast on, on this day. 5.30 p.m. Uh, or closer to about 6 p.m., we're going to have dinner, and then we're going to have a 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. repatriation and investment conference with Africans born in the diaspora and local business people. Yeah, so that is going to be wonderful. And right after that, uh, we're going to do social gathering for nightlife at Shazer Freak Restaurant in the neighborhood uh, to enjoy the scenery, great music, and networking. So that's going to be a beautiful uh, Monday right there. And now the schedule is broken up into 3-3. Three, three. So we're in Accra for three days, Kumasi for three days, Cape Coast, Elmina for three days. So it ended up being 
10 nights and 9 days. All right, so let's uh, move past the schedule. So uh, day 5, uh, we're going to be leaving Accra. It's a 5-hour ride to Kumasi and Ashanti region. So we're going to be organizing the bag situation to where we want everybody to bring out their big bags. or have their big bags by the door by 7 o'clock. Uh, that way we can have the bus packed and ready by 8 o'clock so we can leave 8.30, 9 o'clock uh, the latest. Uh, so it's a five-hour ride, so we're looking to get to Kumasi sometime in the afternoon. And you know, so we're going to have a nice stop on the way uh, for lunch and in between is this uh, sightseeing. Now when we get to Kumasi, we're staying at Miklin Hotel in Kumasi. And Kumasi, just like Accra, uh, Miklin is... Uh, is right nearby. You know, there's a mall, so you buy the mall, you know, the Accra Mall, in Accra, and then you buy the Kumasi Mall. So it's a short, little, it's a short ride. Uh, you know, so you have that direct access for those who just need to go get anything. So once you get there, it's just, uh, it just, you know, we can just enjoy the evening and relax. Um, the rooms are real nice there, and we just, you know, if you want to swim, swim, relax, work out. It's a, it's a nice compound. Get a haircut or you know, anything like that. It's a nice compound and it's in a good location to where later on if you open to nightlife, we have some wonderful places to take you to socialize. On uh, day six, Wednesday, November 21st, uh, Kumasi shopping at the Culture uh, Village uh, Center. Uh, so we're going to, you know, this is when we want to make sure everybody have their money ahead of time and organize that we're going to make our way to the craft villages, go to the culture center, and then, you know, if we you know, didn't get enough, uh, we're during Kumasi again the next day, day 7, Thursday, November 22nd, where we're going to be going to the Ashanti Palace and the Military Museum. Those are two places that we've never went to before. So with a new Kumasi schedule, that opens that up, but also it gives us more time to also you know, do more shopping in Kumasi. So those are three days in Kumasi, and then the last three days is in Elmina, Cape Coast. So once we leave from um, Kumasi, we're going to head down day 8, Friday, November 23rd, to Asin Manso. Now, Asin Manso represents the old slave market of our ancestors being washed up and auctioned off to the, the you know, local dungeons and that whole process of the debt march. So it's a very educational story to connect us later to the Cape Coast Holocaust dungeons. So once we are finished at Asin Manso, uh, I'm because of One Africa will be waiting for us. So for those who are staying at One Africa, um, we get you off. And then for those who are staying at uh, the Almond Tree, we'll get you there. And once we uh, get you settled, we're going to get you, get you checked in. And then we just uh, spend time at One Africa to enjoy a wonderful dinner and a nice social night. And then we'll just get everybody back to the Almond Tree. And then we start a fresh day in the morning. And the schedule is bumped up a little bit more to where it's not so much uh, the 8 o'clock, 8.30. No, we Probably, you know, since you're in paradise, you probably just have to put it back a little bit. So you'll see it say 9 o'clock now instead of 8 o'clock. Um, but 9.30, so our goal is to literally just make sure everybody's organized at 9.30 in the morning. And by 9.30, depart. All right, so, sad, so day 9, um, we're going to uh, the Cape Coast Holocaust Dungeon. So on that day, everybody, wear all white. And also day 8, we're going to Sin Man. So that's the day we're a combination of red, black, green, and gold. And it'll say that in the itinerary. Um, and then we'll also do the reminder. Uh, so both you know, schedule uh, actually just show you the, the actual information of dress in your Pan-African colors and dress in your all whites. So that, that uh, very emotional day in all whites is maybe a little long. And then we're going to go to the beach and do our connection, naming ceremony, and everything with Imacus. And then we're going to have a wonderful um, dinner. Now, day 10 um, is your free day. That's the only day available left where we just don't have much on the schedule. So for those who are brave and willing to uh, journey with me to the canopy walk, uh, uh, to go up into actually our rainforest and cross the canopy and make it back, uh, we're going to be leaving at about the uh, you know, same time, about uh, 9.30. And then for those who are staying back at One Africa, just enjoy paradise, get your clay bath, mud bath, relax, kick back, enjoy paradise. And enjoy that beautiful time in Ghana. Now, day 11, Monday, November 26th. Um, trying to work this out to where we can go to the school real quick and drop off the school supplies, connect, and then we have to head towards uh, our new uh, community land site project in Goma. 
which is right there above Sinabarku in the central region. So looking to just get an organized game plan to where we have a nice community land and that's where we're looking to really just build our repatriation village and repatriation community and this is also a connection to work with other groups of people that uh, are going to just make this a real wonderful community and it's set to where those who are interested in moving it just be a smoother process because that's what we've been fighting to do trying to make repatriation a smooth process where you know you're dealing with a community that is uh, what we're going to drive by in the last day and enjoy a nice relaxed time and then we're going to you know, flow back with the itinerary and head back to the airport. So family, that is the full 11-day itinerary for the November 2018 Journey of a Lifetime. All right, and what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to talk about the departure reminder list um, and a few other things uh, on the next conference call. But uh, we've covered a whole lot of um, uh, visas, flight schedule, tour overview, flight itinerary, general terms and this uh, you know, wonderful uh, itinerary. So family, what I want to do is uh, open things up for questions, and we have a lot of people on the line. So press star six to unmute yourself. Hello? Uh, greetings, uh, can you give your name and uh, where you're calling from and your question? Hey, Bomani, this is Shalise um, calling from Anchorage, Alaska. All right, uh, greetings, uh, Shalise, uh, what's your question? Hey. Um. This is about the yellow fever shot. Um, where do I get the waiver form from? Uh, something that you have to talk to your doctor about and ask him to write you a waiver based on you being allergic to the medicine. Oh, so I have to be allergic to it in order to get the waiver? Yeah, so tell him that um, you're allergic to eggs and things like that. But it's one of those okay. <laughs> conversations to get it worked out. Oh, okay. Because up here is on back order, and no one around knows when we're going to get it. They're saying it probably won't even be around January, so I'm a little afraid. Uh, January, yeah. You're leaving in um, May with us next year. In so May. Here, none this year, and they don't even – they. They're not sure when they're going to get it. They're saying it's all on back order. Yeah, we're going to have to start work out something for you and for those who just are having those issues um, uh, when you get to Ghana. I'll definitely come up with a game plan for you. Just, uh, we usually get those things worked out. There's always okay. uh, people who don't either have a waiver or a yellow card, and we just kind of come up with a game plan and work that out when we get there. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Absolutely perfect. So looking forward to connecting you with you next uh, May in Ghana. Yeah. Okay. You too. All right. Our family line is open for the next person who have a question. Yes, uh, can you give your name and your question? Uh, Bula, I'm out of Minneapolis. I think I know the answer to the question, but I'm going to ask anyway. Okay. <laughs> Does the total my airfare from my um, home to Atlanta. No? The tour package includes flights from where you are to connect you to Amsterdam and then take you to Ghana. So I don't know if exactly it's Atlanta, but we'll get you, we can get you a flight from Indianapolis. We have other routes. We have Minneapolis, St. Paul, Chicago, Detroit, and so on. So you're saying I will be flying into Detroit? Uh, no, what I'm saying to you is um, I have a few different options. So at the time that when we have when we're booking our reservations for you, I would be able to look at the options and get you there. But it, it doesn't matter the route, and we we all get into Amsterdam around the same time, and then we all leave in, at the same time to go to Ghana. Okay, and the total cost for the tour package. Could you state that for me again? It's $2,950, and also, if you can do me a favor, um, uh, if you can go to the site and go to the website link and look to the tour details. And you know, No, so, I was looking at the tour for this year. Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So 
your, your confirmation, yes, I'm confirming that, but the confirmation is based on what we have on the screen. So that's, you know, so I'm also just letting you and other people know that it's there. That way we don't have to answer a lot of the same questions. Oh, okay. All right, so appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right, family, uh, we're closing in the next few minutes. I want to, we talked about a lot of things. If anyone have any questions, send emails of your questions. Uh, yeah, because the purpose of this conference call is for us to just have be here to mainly just answer questions and go through some of the information. Uh, so, up for the next few months, just want to make sure we answer all questions and be clear on everything. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is the tour book. The tour book that we have, uh, me and Jonathan is working on a tour book now, and uh, your full tour itinerary, tour overview, and schedule is in there. So, one of the things is when we get on tour. The first day when we get there, I'll tell everyone about the schedule of tonight and the next day. And what we want people to do, everyone to do, is just to look in the book and look at your schedule of what we're doing per day. That way we don't have several people asking us what we're doing today, what we're doing in the morning. Once we get on the bus every morning, we'll give everybody a nice overview of what we're doing for the day again. And we, and then when we return in, we'll do an overview of what we're doing the night and the next day. So that's our sequence of talking to everyone at one time to give everyone the same details and also using the, the tour book as the program itself to go to the different segments of the tour, including like special reminders, which we're going to talk about and then we'll definitely talk about the departure reminder list. So the tour book, to, you know, you have, you have access to the tour book on the website like everything else. Uh, what you do is go to the main menu and you'll see Ghana tour books. Once you click on a link, you'll see previous version of the book, but it's the same sequence. Uh, the main thing that's changed in there is like that itinerary, maybe different pictures of and different uh, parts of you know what we're doing different. So that is our, our Ghana tour books and that is a, it's a flip book version which image and then also the other one is a PDF version. And for everyone that's traveling on a tour with us, uh, they'll get the tour book, a tour bag, a t-shirt, uh, a few pens and a few uh, postcards and uh, business cards. Uh, also, when you're looking in the uh, tour book, we'll have all of our staff members, our contact details and information. So uh, you can always just, um, if you have a Ghana phone and you, you're there, you can just put our information in there as a way to communicate with us. Beyond that, anyone that's literally looking to use a phone in Ghana, the best thing I personally recommend is buy an unlock, you know, like Samsung Galaxy or iPhone, and once you get to Ghana, we buy a SIM card. SIM card is equivalent to about anywhere from about one or two US dollars. And then you put about equivalent to five or ten US dollars in minutes on there. And then you can make your phone calls and do certain things. But also if you, you, know, you get the phone, your phone can become your mobile hotspot. So you can just get that in minutes. And we can just create a mobile hotspot on your phone to where you can use that as your, your, your internet for your, your other, you know, your US phone for your apps and also maybe your laptop. Uh, the hotel does have Wi-Fi. Usually you have to stay closer to the vicinity of um, you know, the lobby area. And then one Africa doesn't have Wi-Fi. She doesn't have hot water, um, air condition. It's just natural. So by this time, I'm hoping that everybody is clear on one Africa. If you do want AC and hot water there in Cape Coast, Elmina, the best thing to do is email me as soon as possible so I can put you there at the almond tree so you can receive that. Um, other than that, One Africa is, you know, if we talk about just a natural energy of elements. All right, uh, so family, just, um, just wanted to go through a few of those things. So I want to open back up for questions, if you can give your name and where you're calling from. All right, cool. Uh, Jonathan, I got your line open. Let me know if you want to share anything, and we're going to close in exactly one minute. Uh, no, uh, pr pretty much family, just uh, go through the itinerary. It shows all the information of what we're doing uh, day by day, and that'll be our staple for this tour to make sure everybody's clear. And, again, all the information is here on the on the website, and you know, whether that's the piece of information, whether that's the tour itinerary, or, like I said, I'm pretty excited to go on the trip. All right, perfect, uh, Jonathan. Uh, thanks. So, uh, let me get a few more calls and we close. All right, the next person, can you speak up and give your name, where you're calling from, and your question? Dila out of Indiana again. Uh, yeah, you're so you're saying, I, 
I have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone. You're telling me I need to get an iPhone? All right. Um, I have um, – no, what I'm saying is for anyone who wants to use a phone in Ghana, the best thing I personally recommend is to get a separate unlock <laughs> phone a separate unlock phone. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a Samsung Galaxy or iPhone. If you have a Verizon phone and that's unlocked and you want to take out your SIM card and hold on to your SIM card and put a Ghana SIM card in there, that's absolutely fine mm-hmm. also. But none of us can guarantee if those phones are going to work. So what I'm explaining to everyone is make sure you bring an unlocked phone if you want to use that. If you want to use these technologies that talk about setting up a mobile hotspot on your, your Ghana phone, mm-hmm. And we're making phone calls there locally in Ghana and to other countries. So my phone most likely will not work there. There's no way I can say that. I have no idea. I would hate to tell you that. Tell your phone may work and it doesn't work. Um, that's it's nothing we can do about any phone that doesn't work. But as long as anyone gets an unlocked phone, that that's what we guarantee will work. So the only way you can an unlocked phone. Yeah, so you can talk to uh, the people who provide your phone service, and then you can ask them if your phone is a locked phone or unlocked phone. Okay. Okay, but how is the – oh, you say you have to go to a hot spot. So you can't just take your charge and plug it up someplace. You have to be in a hot spot. Um, I'm not clear about – the hot spot is uh, if, if I have a Ghana phone, I, if I have, a, if I have a, like a – like I have a Samsung Galaxy um, S6 um, – um, it's an AT&T unlocked phone. I, I use that in Ghana. I'm able to. It has a. It has a you know, app on there to create a hotspot, and things that are based on me buying data minutes to use the internet and the network there in Ghana. My phone becomes you know its own hotspot. So I do okay. this 24/7, and I use all those things. Mm. But not, what I use and what I, and those things I do. And, you know, I'm not telling anybody to do it. It's like I bring my laptop, I have speakers, I have a full office that I take with me. You know, but mm-hmm. these are the things that we so have. It's best to get the uh, STEM card in Ghana. Yes, you, have to, you, you, you only can get the SIM card in Ghana, but you have to have an unlocked phone for it to work. So that's what you own. So that's the only right. thing. Have to do. And the other option is you can pay, a, you can purchase a phone in Ghana for anywhere from 100 to 200 US dollars. Okay. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. Are you welcome? Yeah, Bumani. What's up? It's Enobi, man. Uh, greetings, guys. Well, what, kind, what kind of weather are we talking about um, and, and, and appropriate dress? Can you give me an idea of, of if, if you can't forecast? Basically, the weather, the weather comparison is like uh, Florida, Jamaica in the, um, in the summertime, anywhere from... Uh, and then maybe as hot as uh, 80 degrees, but, I mean, you're just wearing the same kind of clothes that you normally wear to go somewhere tropical. Um, and then we also have nightlife. We also have, you know, business conference. And we also have, you know, we go out and socialize. So it's, you know, so it's one of those things where, you know, where you take a little bit of everything. Uh, we also, you know, we're, we're also pool parties and swimming and things like that. So swimwear chill, relax, where we do hiking, so you, know, you have to take some, you know, some, you know, some comfortable sneakers. So you literally want to pack, pack a good amount of stuff for the nine days. Okay. All right, cool, thanks. Absolutely. All right, our next, uh, next caller before we close. Bomani, how are you doing? All right, I'm doing well. How about yourself? All right. Um, I... Uh, asking the same question that gentleman asked, but it's going to be November and we do have to go to Europe. By that time, will we need like a leather jacket or something? Because it's going to be cold in Europe, right? I mean, yeah, it's going to be cold in Europe, but um, in, in general, when you're flying on a plane, what you want to do is you, want to, you always want to make sure you take a jacket. And if you want to put a sweater in one of your carry on bags, you do that. Uh, so, those are things that, you know, so a good question. So, those are things that you want to be prepared for. Okay, because I know it's going to be warm in Africa, but it ain't going to be warm in, what is it, Denmark? Uh, Amsterdam, and, you know, you have people coming from different places, so based on some people come from very hot places, some people the opposite. Okay. So okay. Just, that's what I say more so. You're packing a little bit of everything. Cause how, you, many, you know, how, how 
big a bag can we? I know you might have answered this question, but how big a bag can we take since it's nine days? All right, perfect. Um, uh, while we have like, give me a few seconds, I'll go through that right now. So okay. everyone, um, uh, what, we, what we have set up is an international booking, so you're allowed two check bags, two check bags of 50 pounds uh, each. Okay. And then beyond those 50 pound check bags, if you desire to add another check bag, it, it's uh, $200. Um, overweight limit C is from 51 pounds to 70 pounds. It's $100 uh, dollars for overweight. Uh, and then, then the next thing you have is your carry-on bag, which is um, you can take like one of those small roll-on, and then like um, then the other thing is like a personal carry-on, like a, a backpack, a laptop bag, or like a you know purse or something like that. Thank you. All right, cool, perfect. All right, um, anyone else have any questions before we close? Um, I have one question, Vamani. This is Shalise from Alaska sure. again. As far as with the clothing, uh, will we have access to washing machines? Uh, yes, uh, you'll be able to wash your clothes right there at the hotel. Uh, what you have to do is you know, put your order in right away, and the order could be ready um, around about uh, 24 hours or one day later. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, that's it. All right, perfect. All right, uh, thank you, family. Uh, this is Bomani Tama. Thanks uh, for everyone uh, showing interest in our Ghana journey for a lifetime and connecting with us. Uh, for those who are interested in South Africa or any other ventures, just uh, reach out to me, and uh, we'll connect with you on those uh, details. All right, so everyone, um, good night. Enjoy your night, and I'll connect back with you. I'll work on a recording for the conference call and get it out to those who didn't make the call and for those who came in late on the call. Uh, but everyone, please uh, just um, check your email. There's certain emails that they still need to get replies back for, for passport information and details, for T-shirt size and meal orders. All right. So all of those are things that um, you see those emails that say reply back as soon as possible. Just do a quick uh, reply. All right. Uh, other than that, uh, everyone enjoy your night. Uh, it's good connecting with everyone, and we'll connect with you next time.